Watching 7 Action News, always taking action for you. Well, just when you thought Detroit had cleaned up its act, here we go again. Tonight, there are new allegations of bribes for Detroit City Council votes. And the feds are looking into it again. 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirstner joins us now live from City Hall. And Jim, what is it this time? Glenn and Joanne, some say these are allegations, others say nothing more than just rumors. Sort of like an old joke, three guys are in a bar, a pastor, a police chief, and a political consultant. That's where this discussion really picked up steam, and in this case, it's not a joke. The pastor is going in front of a federal grand jury. The allegations or rumors are that votes may have been bought and paid for by someone connected to former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. You remember him. He's doing a quarter of a century in prison for corruption. Former council member Monica Conyers was also convicted of taking a bribe for a vote. At issue now were votes bought and paid for to elect Brenda Jones, city council president, with the new council in January, and George Cushenberry, president pro tem. The vote was close, five to four. Jones says she knows of no bribes and has not been contacted by the feds. We all know in this city, Nothing is a surprise. An attorney for the Reverend Horace Sheffield confirms to 7 Action News Sheffield will testify to a federal grand jury on April 24th. He's not a target. Sheffield declined comment, as did his daughter Mary. She is also newly elected to the Detroit City Council. Sontiel Jenkins was council president last year. We don't need anything that's a distraction from the city's business. This would be more than a distraction. It would be criminal. It's bribery. Well, if it's true. Two new council members say they voted for new leadership based on their experience. Jones on the council and Cushenberry in the state legislature. Did anyone attempt to buy your vote? No, they did not. Anybody ever discuss any money no, they with did you? Not. Have you been contacted by the FBI? No, I have not. If you are, would you be willing to testify before a grand jury? Oh, yes, without a doubt. Have you been contacted by the feds? Uh, not at all. No. So, if you were, would you be willing to go in and testify to a grand jury? Uh, you know, I've got nothing to hide, so uh, absolutely. Did anybody approach you in January offering to buy your vote? Absolutely not, under no circumstances. Now, the feds don't comment on any pending case, including this one. Some city hall insiders say they think the feds are just fact finding giving the climate that's happened here in the past, whether anyone attempted or actually paid a bribe, they don't buy it. Also, the third person in this, Police Chief James Craig, declined comment. Joanne, Glenda. I know you'll stay on top of it for us, Jim, and bring us the latest. Thank you.